who when writing his book Exponential Potential, wanted to focus on the flip side of rapid technological developments. Dean believes that there are more opportunities to succeed than ever before for those that are truly plugged into the new world. As a religious man, Dean believes in divine providence and that God has an important role to play in one's life and success. I call my book Exponential Potential because I very much feel that in this day and age, the possibilities are endless. One thing is for sure that technology will take jobs away from a lot of people. But on the flip side, if you plug into the right way of thinking and you get ahead of that learning curve to be able to completely discover new things that most people won't know, the potential for you to grow your own business and your own career is unlimited and can grow exponentially. And as soon as you've caught that bug of plugging yourself into the world and discovering new things on a complete time and applying it to your own life, your own career, and your own business, the possibilities are endless. I specialize in innovation, so helping companies of all different sizes uh, grow their company using new technologies, new methods, and just creative thinking. So one of the problems that many companies have is that it's very, very tough to stay up to date with the latest and greatest ways to do things. And then you become very narrow-minded in terms of trying to create new solutions. So then the companies come and they say, let's innovate and create different things. But the inputs, which is the learning that they've needed to have, isn't there. So the output, which is the innovations and the new strategies are completely lacking. And the thing is, it's very understandable why that's the case, because for a lot of companies, you know, and for a lot of people inside those companies, you have deadlines and you have daily priorities and you're just trying to get the work done that you've got on your plate. And you're not really carving out time each day to learn in the way that you need to learn. So Randall Stevenson, he's the CEO of AT&T, a huge telecommunications company in the, in the States, said that if you're not learning five to 10 hours a week online and discovering new things, you're going to become irrelevant and obsolete. So very much along the, the lines with that thinking is that people have really not taken the time to do that learning that they need to do. And in the past, maybe you can get away with not doing that, but now things are changing so quickly that you become very irrelevant. And if not irrelevant, you become a little bit more mediocre and not be able to unleash the potential that you have because you're not putting that input of learning into your daily life. My Jewish faith has played a really strong role in making me an inquisitive person, a person who wants to discover new ways of doing things, look at things analytically and question things around there because that's a big part of innovation. The problem is that when you don't question things around you, whether they're valid or you, they're not valid, um, then you just do things according to the status quo. But as soon as you start interrogating and asking questions and asking challenging questions about things that exist, that's when real innovation and growth starts to happen. And that's very fundamental. If you look at any Jewish learning, it's all about questioning to, to promote new depths in understanding and new ways of looking at different problems. Self-belief is a hugely important part of creating the best possible career for yourself and growing your company as well as you can, and also growing yourself as well as you possibly can. The thing that I've found, which is very interesting, is that often the most talented people and the most to give often have the most self-doubt and often question themselves the most. And the truth is that you have to realize that we're all human and we all have pitfalls, but don't focus on that. And you focus on the positives and completely drive and push yourself every day to give more to others. Because when you're giving more, uh, that's when you land up seeing the benefit come back to you, be it from money or from satisfaction in your own career or anything that you want to come and achieve in your life. I'm hoping when people read my book, Exponential Potential, that they will really have a new mindset and understand just how easy it is to acquire new skills in today's age and just how easy it is to use new technologies that can help you in things that you do on your every day. Day. A lot of people get scared at the beginning. They think, oh, okay, they hear the word technology or, 
or new platforms or anything that sounds like you need to be this big tech developer to do. These days, everything is so easy. There's so many do-it-yourself tools that can drastically transform the way you do things. You just have to understand that they exist and, that, and overcome your fear of actually using them. And I'm just hoping that one, people will understand that you can achieve more than ever before in today's age. And another thing that I'm hoping that they realize is just where to look for certain things and to realize that it's simple. It really is simple today to achieve things that in the past you needed to be a real expert to do. Truthfully, Hashem is the one that looks after how much income we get and not. And we have to do our own work to work as much as we can. We can't just lie in bed and think Hashem will provide. That's a dangerous theory. But we have to still work with the conscious belief that in the end, it's not my work that's achieving any success that I do. Hashem will decide I should be successful. Hashem will decide I shouldn't be successful. And that very much has driven me to be a bit calmer in terms of what I do and not to think too much about what if this happens, what if that happens, I need to get this deal in, I don't need to get this deal in. Very much believing Hashem will look after that. I have to believe in what I'm doing, doing the right thing, have a good strategy, but that will come in time. Well, that's all we have for this week's episode of Simcha, a celebration of life. As always, we'd love to hear from you, so go on and say hi to us on Facebook.